All right, so now it's drain tile time. So this is the uh, existing tile that Mike cut out. You can see the holes very, very clearly there. Uh, they're you know, halfway up or up facing, which uh, is, is, we now know, is totally wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna walk around and show the new pipe going in. All right, so here's the new tile going in and then the, 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 the fitting right there, that's a Y. What he's gonna do is angle a clean out pipe up here to the ground and then what we can do is shove an auger snake in there, a long one obviously, and it will clean the entire run out if needed in future. And it's only positioned that way because he's determined that this is the, 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 uh, the apex right here. So from here around this side of the house, the water runs clean, no problem. And because it goes that way and collects a lot of garbage, you know, gunk and stuff, that's where potential drain problems will, will be in the future. All right, I just put the second coat of uh, waterproof on, so it's kind of shiny. Um, the, the white um, clean-out pipe stands out quite nicely. So that pipe, um, as you can see, it goes right up to the, the base of the uh, where the walkway will be. I, I think we'll put a little fitting on the end with a cap, so if we need to uh, clean out a, uh, um, a jam, in future, that's there. Um, so you can see everything that Mike has done. So he started, um, he cut the, right where the, the wooden brace is, right behind that, he cut through, cut out the old uh, drain tile and uh, fit in the new. One, there's a Y fitting right behind that piece of wood. You can kind of see through the middle. So the Y fitting, one way goes, the, one, one way is the drainage. And this is the cleanup going up. This is the, the apex I mentioned before, so the water will run this way through the drain tile and then around to the back of the house. And uh, so Mike has fitted this with the holes down this time. He's put an, a bed of crush in at the bottom, as you can see. Um, and he's, he's sloped the drain tile just ever so slightly, just enough for the water to run that way. We can't slope it too much because this thing has to go along the entire front of the house, which is, I don't know, probably... 60 feet or something like that. So we need to we need some some space to uh, um, uh, you know put the put the drain tile in. In other words, if we slope it too high on this end, then you need to uh, at the other end you need to probably dig up a more of a trench. So just a, a slight grade is, is fine. Okay, so there's the entrance um, over there. So then what he'll do next is uh, he'll fill all this in with the with the crush. Um, he'll take I don't know probably a foot. A foot or two wide, just enough to, to cover up that drain tile. He'll put a foot of uh, crush in all the way along, and then he'll fill back, backfill this with uh, with topsoil um, or fill, I should say, not topsoil. Fill, and then he'll put another foot of uh, crush in, another foot of uh, fill, another foot of topsoil. Sorry, crush, topsoil, so on and so forth. And he'll fill the, the whole thing up all the way to the top. So then we'll have a very, very, very good um, drainage system um, adjacent to the foundation. Then when that is done, we'll have filled all this up, you know, quite a ways. Then what he'll do is dig that out another uh, 10, 10 feet or so. Um, I think that um, that down spot right there. That goes into a sump that I've got in the, in the middle of my driveway, but uh, below it is uh, is the kitchen in the suite um, uh, underneath our ground floor, and that's where it's very leaky. So I need to get all that cleaned out and repeat the, the drain tile exercise. Okay, so looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna walk around the the house. That's where. So I, I ran some water up uh, in the hose uh, into the drain tile that is going that way around the house. So I'm just gonna go check out the uh, sump so the drain tile exits into this sump over here and if there's water that means it's it's running free there's no water it's, it's uh, jammed up so that one uh, right in the middle of the screen the one facing toward me that one there's no water there should be water coming out so that means it's clogged up somewhere so we're gonna get a, uh, a snake and get rid of that uh, the, the, the clog
Well, that's pretty cool. There's my crush. All right. So Mike will now move. He's not here, but he'll move it with his machine, and we'll uh, fill up my hole. So the, the benefits of this three-quarter crush, and it's crushed because it's crushed gravel, is that it has 80 or 90% compaction all by itself, just the way it's been in, it's been crushed. Uh, it forms together really tight. So typically you need a compactor to you know bang this stuff down and have it um, have it uh, sort itself out. But this is already 80 to 90% compacted. So we'll put, we'll do a light compaction with a little machine, you know, one of those machines that bounces and it just uh, flattens it out. But but it's been mainly done right now. All right, so Mike has been back today, and he's laid in about 10 inches of crush on top of the new drain tile. You can see it all down there, it's fairly smooth. He's uh, shored up this because we need to start digging down there and move around the, the corner, take out that corner. So I'm now taking out some extra pavers around the edge so he can get his machine in without destroying my, my pavers. And uh, that there's a there's a connection there. The new drain tile in white, the old drain tile in darker white, off white. He'll cut that drain tile on the old side, remove the old drain tile from the coupling, and then as he digs up all this, he'll uh, he'll uh, oh sorry he'll run some water down there and look for a, for a, 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 a stoppage up, uh, where which is causing the water to leak and to run into the into the kitchen. We have a suite underneath this right right down there and that's where water flows in so i'm sure we'll find exactly what we found on this side we'll find some one by four channels uh which were the tie the wooden ties which the uh, contractor used to uh to to support um the the pouring of the foundation and that wood has rotted and water is pouring into the kitchen so all right so what he'll do uh he's he'll now start to um add uh well some more some more fill some more crush but I think he's going to get to, to work first on digging this out, and we'll have one uh, wide open uh, trench at the end of this, uh, the end of today. Okay. So this is granite on the left and basalt on the right, and that's what the crush is. So Mike is using his excavator now, and he's just going to fill up the the, wrench, the rest of that uh, trench. And he, the reason he told me that he doesn't do. Um, he doesn't do this starting at the bottom as he wants to be able to lay down the the landscape fabric of course but then he said the machine causes a lot of vibration he doesn't want to cause that the the, the topsoil bench on the far left to uh to to, to fall apart and then we and, and kill all the work that he's been doing right so you don't want basically you don't want this to cave in because he'd have to dig it all out again so he wants to just get get a first run in um get it high enough uh so where he can use the machine and the vibration of the machine, whatever, I, it's very unlikely now that, that that bench on the far side is going to, to cave in. All right. So that's 14 uh, yards of, uh, of clear cut three quarter inch uh, crushed, crushed rock or crush thing. Okay, so here we go. So he'll just keep up with this. See him moving, that's the vibration that potentially causes problems. And he doesn't want to get too close to my house and uh, and break a window, obviously. So he'll just keep going with, with that until he gets he'll get he'll fill it up about there, that level all the way through to here, and then we'll run the compactor and uh, pop it down. Maybe that might have a He'll do. I've rented a compactor. Uh, it's a 200 pounder, 20 foot, 20 inch base. Uh, so he'll go. He'll lower that with his uh, his uh, excavator lower it down on a strap into the trench and do the compaction. Um, then when that's done, after the first, this layer that's laid now, he'll, uh, that, that, that um, uh, cylinder right there is a filter, uh, it's a filter, landscape filter, that rolls out into like a, like a sheet of, um, you know, a sheet of AstroTurf basically. And what he'll do is then lay that across the crush on the top of the channel. And that, that's just a, it's an extra filter for dirt and whatnot uh, before it, the dirt gets into the uh, into the bed, the, the crush bed, um, and clogs up my drain filter, it will sit on top of that um, landscape uh, fiber, okay? All right, so Mike's put in uh, several feet of crush right now. There he is working at the end. He laid in that uh, landscape uh, cloth. You can see it right in the middle of the screen a little bit. Uh, need to drain, just cut it, 
four feet wide, laid it on top, doesn't have to be pretty, just just, uh, just there. And then he's laying uh, a whole bunch of crush. So what he's going to do is fill up that whole trench with crush um, and, uh, and, and compact it. So he's just spreading up the, the crush right now. Smoothing it out, make it flat so we can do a compaction. So compaction.